<laughs> hey everybody, welcome to jQuery Tutorials for Beginners. I'm Niall Doherty. I run the website jQueryTutorialsforbeginners.com and this is the first video tutorial I'm putting together that shows you a little bit about uh, jQuery and why it's legendary and everything like that. So we're going to jump pretty much right into it. I'm on the jQuery.com homepage here. First thing I should explain, as it says here, J jQuery is a new kind of JavaScript library. So what the hell is JavaScript? Well, there's three main building blocks to a website, at least to the front end of a website. Like when you view source on a page, uh, that you'd be able to see three different types of code. Uh, first you have HTML. HTML is the content. Uh, it houses the content, structures the content of your website. That's the real foundational building block. On top of that, you have CSS. CSS adds a layer of styling. So it can add background images, it can add colors, it can add uh, structure as well. Most websites now are structured using um, CSS because it's nice and flexible. So HTML for content, CSS for styling, and then JavaScript goes on top of that again, and that's for behavior. So that's to add cool little effects and little behaviors and things, which we're going to see some examples of in a moment. jQuery then is a, a JavaScript library, so it makes it easier really to write JavaScript. And as it says here on the jQuery.com website, jQuery is a fast and concise JavaScript library that simplifies HTML, document traversing, event handling, animating, and AJAX interactions for rapid web development. jQuery is designed to change the way that you write JavaScript. So it's pretty cool stuff, and I'm going to show you why. So we talk about behaviors right away on the jQuery.com website. We can see a couple little examples of this. If we hover over these three links, you see it pops up a little, little extra information there. So that right there is jQuery at work. Nice, smooth effect. Now jQuery is also used on some really, really big websites. So it's a very popular library, and for good reason, because it's great. So you'll see down here, jQuery.com, they have a little list of who uses their code. So some very big names here. Uh, I'm just going to show you examples of a couple of them. Amazon.com is the first one I want to show you. So on their product page on Amazon.com, I just pulled up um, a, a product page here. You can see that there are hover effects like this. So if you hover over something, it loads up a little bit of extra information about it just like that that's all done in jquery if we scroll down a little further they have this cool little kind of carousel gizmo here um one of the cool things about jerry jquery the ajax side of it ajax allows you to load in information at runtime instead of all up front so only putting information to the page when you need it without having to reload the page so uh if you click on one of these arrows here on this carousel you'll see it loads in some new items so that's done with jQuery, pretty handy. Um, as we're scrolling down here, you'll probably see the last thing I want to show you on this page, which is some elements loading into the page as we scroll. So let's see if we can find some of those. There we go. It just disappeared there as we got down to it, which is which really speaks to the, the speed of jQuery. So you don't have to load everything into the page at the same time. You can just load it up um, uh, on the fly when you need it. So that's the Amazon page, very good use and practical use of jQuery. Let's go on to another website you're probably familiar with, which is Twitter. And I'm in the Twitter search here. Uh, they do a couple of things with jQuery. One is um, refresh without having to reload the page. So that's pretty cool. No one has to go up and hit the refresh button. They opted to have you click on something to refresh it, but they could also have it just automatically update here and push down the top tweet. Now, the other cool thing on this page is these little slide outs when you click on a tweet. So, slides in, slides out. Um, it's just a cool little effect where I don't have something pop up. It just slides out nicely so you can kind of see where it comes from. And I think they also have little hover behaviors here somewhere on the page. Am I right about that? Maybe not on this page. Never mind. That's uh, Twitter. Uh, there's many other sites, but jQuery actually has this page here showing you all the different big sites, noteworthy sites that use jQuery. So you can look at 
uh, more of those like Google and IBM, Microsoft, Mozilla, ESPN, all those make good use of jQuery. But I want to show you some uh, lesser known sites that have some cool jQuery effects. It is the kind of stuff you might be able to pull off yourself when you get to learn jQuery. So um, Komodo Media is a cool little site. If you look down here, they have a foliage o meter Now this is just a fun little use of jQuery just to spice up a site a little bit. You'll see if you look at the top corners of the site, when I play with this little toggle thing here, it adds more foliage or less foliage as I, as I play with the slider. So cool little fun use of it there, that's done with jQuery. Now a more subtle use I want to show you, this is a website called brightcreative.com and you'll see, I hope you can see this here, when you hover over the little menu items at the top, there's a subtle uh, lightning effect, which is pretty cool. So not all jQuery has to be kind of big slides and all that sort of stuff. You can use it for nice little cool subtle effects as well. It's very versatile in that regard. Uh, a popular use of jQuery is to slide things in and out to hide content and then show content only when it's needed. This is an example, it's a, it's a demo of a for a tutorial on NetTuts, which shows you how to recreate this step by step. So if you like this effect, you can find all the code for it on nettuts.com, I believe it is. So when we click here, it slides down this little form, I guess, so we can uh, log in. So just show and hide, instead of popping th something up or always having it there, it's gonna slide it in and out nice and smooth. And then one of the last ones I want to show you, or this is the last one I want to show you, and it's probably the most, uh, the, the coolest example I have here. It's actually built on a plugin, a jQuery plugin that I created called Coda Slider. Uh, and that's one of the other cool things about jQuery is there's lots of plugins for it and you can build upon other people's work. So you're rarely starting from scratch. So this uh, website, they took my Coda Slider and they built on it and they made this really cool thing. First of all, you'll see that the menu itself is pretty cool because it kind of flows across like that. But watch what happens when I click on one of these. It doesn't just reload, bring me to a new page. Instead, it slides the whole website across like that. Just pretty cool, right? Pretty novel and memorable way to load a page. It's a, it's a, it's a kind of a wow experience for the user. So those are a few examples of the use of jQuery. You can pretty much do anything you want with it. Um, you can just be as imaginative as you like. So that was to show you the, the range of effects of jQuery. Uh, the other things I want to mention is that jQuery, it's, it's very easy to use. There, as, as I mentioned already, there's a, there's a big community and lots of plugins. So there's lots of help available out there and you're rarely having to go it alone and, and try and make stuff up yourself. You can build on what other people have done. It's pretty easy to learn, uh, especially if you know some CSS already, because the selectors are the exact same as CSS. So uh, I, I was already familiar with CSS when I started learning jQuery, and I actually learned by creating that plugin I mentioned, Coda Slider, and it only took me a couple of weeks to build something really cool that's been downloaded thousands and thousands of times. So it can be pretty, uh, pretty easy to learn and qu pretty quick to, to pick up. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to mention about it. That's basically what jQuery is and what it can be used for. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to install jQuery and just how to get something basic working. So we'll build this from the ground up. Um, if you like these videos, check out jQuery tutorials for beginners.com. There's going to be lots and lots more on there and we'll step through it and we'll learn together and we'll make some really, really cool stuff with jQuery. Da 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 da